part. I don't make any excuses for that. Just the fact that I've kind of just stepping back for a little bit and actually want to live life a little more, you know, and enjoy myself, you know, and worry about the issues and circumstances of social media a lot less. So I'll get that part out of the way. I'm sitting back here today, you know, just kind of relaxing, you know, drinking some iced lattes or whatever the case may be, and and just kind of just going through, you know, and just enjoying my day, see what's kind of popping on YouTube, if you will. (laughs) And there was a video that came up in my recommendations um, that was done by Carmen Kaboom. Well, I tell you, this this lady here, she is just truly a character. That's all I can say. She is just she is just something else. I can say this for one thing, she keeps me laughing. She really does. She keeps me laughing. I really enjoy free entertainment. I really do. I really do. It's so funny about what she figures is an issue or what she is actually talking about in the video because I sat there and listened to pretty much most of the video. Once I got the gist of what she was talking about, I just kind of went off, you know, kind of changed it and kind of went to viewing something else. But I actually had made a mental thumbtack to actually come back and do a video about this because she is actually, out of all of everything that she's saying, she is really showing folks things that she really would not want folks to know about her, even though we already know pretty much about the type of person that she truly is. I make no bones about, for the most part, how I feel about her, because, again, I've done videos in the past about her. <clears throat> for the most part, you know, not anything that <clears throat> that is disrespectful or anything. Now, if she wants to take it as disrespect, that's totally on her. I make no apologies. I just figure I'll put that out there. But... Your what you say, you have to be careful about what you say and how you say it, because, again, it reveals a lot more than what you actually want people to believe. Now, if there's any type of or one concept that I can actually sum up that entire video in is I will have to call it self entitlement. Yeah, self entitlement. I don't have to actually go to like a Webster's dictionary or whatever to kind of, you know, tell you the definition because for the most part we all can pretty much think and know for the most part what that truly means when you talk about somebody that actually has an issue with self-entitlement all throughout the entire video all I hear basically is is whining and, and complaining about why she doesn't get this why this is not this way this that and the other People showing fake love and they're, you know, and she's comparing herself to other content creators. And when she feels that she does not get the same recognitions or the, oh boy, the old issue about donations, because again, we talked about that a couple of years ago and I guess it keeps surfacing up, but she brought it up. So, you know, hey, I'll talk about it too. She figures that people are not giving to her. As they would give to other well-known content creators, like she said in her video, Tariq Nasheed or Tommy Sotomayor, and maybe a host of other ones in there. I don't like what social media changes people to become. I've seen social media change people from being humble and the most respectable person to the most I should say narcissistic. And again, I, I'm only and I'm not trying to diagnose anybody because, again, I do know that YouTube has become a very, pol- uh, very political platform. But again, I'm, none of my videos get monetized. I don't have a big YouTube audience, so I'm, I'm fine with what I say. So the issue is that I got a job. So YouTube doesn't have to pay me a dime. That's what I get up and work for. But. We are running into a climate now, at least in her in her world where she wants people to kind of donate and not only donate, but donate big, you know, and the issue is that with someone that actually that has the traits of a narcissistic person, 
they pretty much are never satisfied because they feel, here we go again, that they are entitled to a certain thing just because of who they are. Now, she mentioned certain things in her video about the YouTube algorithm as far as how it pertains to her and the fact that her numbers don't change, you know, that it stays the same year after year, despite, you know, uh, you know, she being, you know, people they are subscribing to her and this, that, and the other. Like I say, maybe that is a true case. I don't know. I really don't care to research because I don't feel that she's that important enough for me to research to try to figure out whether or not that is a lie or the truth. But there's three things that I can actually sum up about her that she really would not want to come to terms with that we all know that is true. And I'm going to lay I'm going to lay it out on the line. You're broke. You're busted and you are absolutely disgusting. I'm just going to lay it out there. You're broke. You're, you're, <laughs> it's just, it's, hmm. <laughs> I have to laugh. I, I'm sorry. You're broke. You're busted and disgusting. I've never actually used those three adjectives to describe her for the most part. And again, it's not, it doesn't have anything about me and my personal feelings towards her because again, I don't have any personal connections with her. You know, all I am is just a regular viewer of her content, just like everybody else. But when a person sits there and actually has the gall to just post video after video after video, I'm looking for the most part at your surroundings, not necessarily what you're saying, even though I am paying attention to your words, but I'm looking at other things that other folks may not want to pay attention to. That's how I evaluate. That's how I, you know, come to the conclusions on what I want to feel as far as how I feel towards a certain person. My thing is that if you are truly confident in yourself, and I think I may have mentioned this in other videos, and, and like I say, you know, and if I haven't, I guess I'll mention it now. When you are confident about the content that you're putting out there to your audience, it shouldn't matter about the donations and this, that, and the other. You should not. And the thing about it again is that, you know, she's all about saying that she's against promoting her channel. And the thing about it again, unless I misunderstood her, and if I have, I truly you know, apologize for that, but I'm just only going off my interpretation of how I feel about what she's saying. But she's actually, again, and I think with every YouTuber, you're trying to grow your brand. I get that. I get it because again, you know, you want to put some quality content out there that your quote unquote subscribers are going to like. And because of the fact that they may like it, you want them to donate. But the problem with that is that when you feel that you are entitled to certain things and just because of the loyal few that you have, I guess they're not giving enough or not giving as much as someone else. You want to, for the most part, I guess you want to trash them. <laughs> One thing that you have to understand about YouTube and see the thing about it again is that I already know YouTube is a flawed platform. I get it. That's why it doesn't really matter to me you know, again, about uh, certain situations as far as, you know, becoming a monetized channel and all of these type of things. Because once you get into that stage of this particular social media uh, platform, everything now is all about constant statistics, analytics, and all of these other type of things. And the thing about it is that if you're not careful, you can stress yourself out about it. Because again, if that's pretty much all that you have, and let's just be real. That is pretty much all that she has. You know, she lives in Memphis. There's no, you know, there's no secret about that. We all know that she lives in Memphis. And the thing about it, again, is that that particular community is a low income community. I'm not trying to sit here and throw shade. I, I don't believe in that. I'm just all about the factual truth. And every time, everywhere you look, every time she's doing her videos, every time she's driving somewhere, of course, she's always constantly complaining about other people, how she, they get on her nerves, how they can't drive and how she is just this perfect person. You already know, you already know her personality. That's just all to me. That's just, she's as fake as, she's just as fake. 
That it, it is what it is, you know. But again, aside from all of that, you know, you were born and raised in a low income community. You know, again, that is something that we have no control over, you know, our background. But what we do have control over is how we actually move on from our circumstances. A lot of people, you know, that are big flourishers in YouTube and, and outside of social media, they are, you know, a well-known brand because they were able to get out and work to change their situation. They did not sit there and make excuses for it. They actually got a hold and actually did work instead of constantly begging. Now, I know with her, she has a very, how can I put it? She gets very agitated when you actually said, or uh, I guess for the most part, mentioned to the fact that she begs. And you can call it whatever you want to. You can dress it up and slice it and dice it. It all actually comes out to mean the same thing. When you're constantly up there encouraging people to, you know, donate, donate, donate. To me, in my world, it's the same thing as begging. I'm just going to be real. You're begging. Now, why is it every time you come on there, you're wanting people to give and give and give? And the thing about it, again, is that she has done every, ever since I've known her. And like I say, I don't really comment on her videos as much or actually at all, because I'm pretty sure, number one, she's blocked me because, again, I revealed who she truly was a couple of years ago. And again, Everybody knows about the video, so I'm not going to even highlight that. But it's just the fact that when you actually outline and nail things on the dot where you can actually reveal and uncover the type of person that she truly is, she gets very pissy. And when you call things for what it is, she's not really ready to accept that. How in the world do you want something you want something that's constant when you are not even a stable person yourself, intellectually, as well as your living conditions, as well as a job. You can't even keep a stable job because, again, everybody who you work around always gets on your nerves. They got to be lying on you. They got to be scheming to try to get you fired. I mean, goodness gracious, this woman, can't you see? She is not at peace. She's when you are not at peace. And I've mentioned this in other videos as well. When you're not at peace, you're going to find fault with every single body around you because, again, you don't have any peace within yourself. It really takes a strong person to really even want to be around her because she always puts on this show as if she is better than the average person. OK, if you are better than the average person and you got it like that, why are the world are you coming on here trying to promote and wanting people to constantly give to you? You are the it's like. The very person that you spoke about in your videos who you are suspecting that was not homeless, you're acting like them. You're up there begging as if you are homeless. Like I say, you know, God bless you. You know, you already pretty much know what it feels like to be homeless. And again, I've watched those videos as well when, you know, back in the days when you posted those videos and some of the things that you went through, you know, they were eye opening. And some of them, it was just a big laugh because even in the face of you going through the hallways of homeless, as you put it. You still had a very narcissistic attitude. See, a lot of things that we go through in life is to humble us. Some people get it the first time. Some people, it takes them a lifetime to really understand the concept of humility. And with her, it's going to take pretty much a lifetime, I believe, for her to really understand and come to terms with what it means to be humble. Some people have to actually have the, their rugs yanked out completely from them where they fall and hit face face down on the ground before they can understand for the most part that, hey, I, it can't be other people. I think it's time for me to shine the light on myself to really see what's really going on. Because, again, you come up every video that you make. It's the same talking points. You don't really have anything interesting or new to add to uh, age old concept. It's always, again, about how much people get on your nerves. And even when people try to be good to you, you always feel that it's actually some sort of underlying agenda. You claim that every man in America wants you. And my God, I don't know where you get that idea from. I laugh real hard every time I hear that because, again, you are not anything interesting to look at. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just delivering it straight as it is. 
And the fact about it again is that I wasn't going to do a video about you ever again, or at least I try not to. But when I ran across this video, I'm like, this woman here, she has truly lost her ever loving mind. That entire video, all it was is just a pity party about why you can't be treated the same way that you feel that you should be when you are actually comparing yourselves to other people who I feel that delivers more thought provoking content. Now, when I say thought provoking, I'm just saying that it gets you to thinking whether or not you like what they say or not. That's another issue. But I'm saying from the from the thought process, it gets you to thinking. Your videos are just plain and basic and simple. We already know what you're going to come on and talk about because, again, you talk about the same thing over and over again. How people are trying to get over on you and this, that, and the other. Everybody is a hood rat. Everybody is a heathen, of course, except for you. Because, again, in your world, you are the only angel that exists. You never lie, at least. And I've heard you say that in your time, in your videos many times. You don't tell lies. Well, you just told one then. <laughs> it's I, I really get a kick out of this. I really do. I don't know if I should just start a series with just breaking down her lies and her her misconceptions, because, again, it is just it is not anybody can figure you out. It, it's not a mystery. Anybody can figure this woman out, because, again, there is no depth. And see, the thing about it, again, is that and I, you know, I agree with a point that she made in the video about the concept of con of having to constantly you know, subscribe or whatever the case may be. Because one thing, this is how, this is how I look at the situation. I don't, on, I, if you could take a look at the very few videos that I have on there, I don't think you will find in any of my videos where I ask someone to subscribe or like or this, that, and the other. Because for me, I don't believe in that, for one. Because I look at it this way. When a person listens to your video they're going to already, within the first couple of minutes of even finishing the video, they're going to automatically decide whether or not they're going to, one, like the video, or whether they're going to subscribe. I agree. They're going to do what they want to do regardless of whether you say it or not. So what's the point in saying it? The issue is that, and let's just be real, you feel that you are entitled to a certain lifestyle, and because you're not able to get it, you are actually wanting to use, again, YouTube to supplement so you in, can reach that lifestyle. Because, again, the job that you have is not paying nowhere near the amount that you expect. Or if it is, it's helping you to meet the very basics where you don't have extra money to spend. So you're having to rely on your subscribers to fill in what you can't get. And I, I am confident that that's the problem. And I don't care what her subscribers say. That is the issue. And like I say, you know, it is what it is. We are all struggling. We are all living in this pandemic together. We are all living in the last days together. And the Bible talks about, you know, famine and all of these other types of issues, you know, where and uh, what is it called? Um, inflation and everything. We are all having to be victims of it. But the issue is, is that it's all about how we choose to handle it. And you got some people like, again that will go to YouTube and try to milk as much as they can out of it thinking that people are supposed to get out of their pockets, their hard earned money just to support you. And the thing about it, again, I promise you, if even even if people were to give you the 20s and the hundred dollars or whatever that you feel that you're entitled to woman, you would not you would be a danger to yourself because, number one, you already have a nasty attitude as it is with the little bit that you do have. I can only imagine what you would become. If people were to really give what you expect or what you would think for them to give to you. I mean, it's not hard to see. It really isn't. It's not hard to see at all. And I just find it very, very interesting that you have the right to get up here and complain about what other folks should do with their hard earned money. That's my money. Now, let's, I'll just say this as a side part. You'll never get a dime from me because, again, I don't, I don't give to, I don't, I don't do that. I, the money that I make is to support me. My money goes to my tithes and offerings because I do believe in tithing because, again, the Bible said so. And like I say, and if, and if I see someone on the street that I, you know, want to give money to, I will go ahead and do that. And again, I'm not saying that to pat myself on the back because, again, the Bible says that the poor will be with us always. 
But the issue is, is that I don't feel that I have to give to you my hard earned money just because you feel that you are delivering content that is worthy of a donation. If I want to, I will. If I don't, I won't. And I can tell you right now, you, you, you won't get a dime from me. But I do appreciate the free content because, again, I'm human. I like to be entertained just like the next person. But this woman and her narcissistic self-entitled attitude, that's what gets me. And it's just amazing at the length that she will go to is trying to shame her subscribers, thinking that that's going to help the situation. And the sad part about it is that she may actually be able to convince the, the, a couple of those clueless subscribers of hers that are already, again, probably halfway between homelessness themselves and paying their bills and giving to her. She'll be able to convince them. Because, again, I would say, you know, she with some people, she's able to do that. They're gullible. It is what it is. You got everybody that's on here that's listening to her are not strong enough to withstand her jibble and jabble. But then again, a lot of there is a lot of other people that can. And I happen to be one of them. It's just it's very interesting to see how she's going to keep going over the same talking points. I guess when she feels that people are not giving where she's not able to go out and waste money on stupid stuff and get scammed by other people. <laughs> it's something else when you can't even be good stewards over what God has given you as far as the little. Because my Bible tells me, you know, when you show yourself faithful over the small, God will again increase your territory and give you much more. So the fact that you're constantly having to constantly get on and beg, because that's what you're doing. I don't care what nobody says, you're begging. That tells me that you're not even being faithful in the little bit that you that God allowed you to have. And so you come on this on YouTube and try to shame subscribers into giving more. That is that is a foolish person that's going to give when they're already struggling themselves. Uh uh, no. And I'm not embarrassed to say it. No, uh uh, I got to look at this is all about survival mode. I got to live. OK, and you are not a part of my budget. I'm so sorry to tell you, but you're not. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to tell you, people have gotten this YouTube thing and they have really lost their ever-loving minds. Yeah, they have. They've lost their minds. And the fact about it is that they figure that they can make a living off of YouTube and you got a selected few that are able to do that. But but you have to look at it. You got to look at it. They're delivering content that is really... That really is a that, that amounts to something, even though it may not be what we think that it should be. They may deliver talking points that we may not think that should be delivered. But there is a method to their madness. They know how to deliver it in a way that is interesting and, again, thought provoking. I don't have to agree with the message or what they stand for overall. But if they're, if they're able to give it to me in a way that I feel that is, number one, respectful where it doesn't come across as if, you know, it's insulting someone else or their livelihood or anything like that. And even if I don't have to agree with them, I can always go back and actually research what they're saying. To me, that's thought provoking. She doesn't deliver that type of material because, again, she is very basic and simple. It doesn't take much to figure her out. She wants a man. And the men that she do want, again, they come from the same community that she comes from. Nothing wrong. Hey, it is what it is. And the thing about it is that she lusts for them. And the issue is, is that if and she <laughs> and she constantly calls herself a woman of God, we already know for the most part how I feel about that. She doesn't know anything of it. You can quote scriptures all day, but you have to live what you quote. That's what we're talking about. You have to live what you quote. But, yeah, like I say, she is a very interesting person. She is very she is very interesting. And I, it's just so I, I'm just going to see how long she's going to put up this charade. Because, again, you can tell me anything, but I'm looking past the smoke screen. Some of her, most of her subscribers, they haven't looked past the smoke screen. And they are so easily moved <laughs> by the abundance of words that she is able to craft and give to them. <laughs> I'm not part of that community. I'm sorry, but I can, I, I'm, I, I'm cut from a different cloth. And I'm not going to sit up there and make any apologies because of it. 
But anyway, I just wanted to kind of give my brief commentary on that ridiculous video that she just did about the algorithm thoughts. And, you know, just, you know, call it a day, I guess. But anyway, thank you all for listening to my rant. Y'all continue to be blessed and have a great day.